System is armed. T minus ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine stop. Lift off, lift off on the maiden flight of the H 2B rocket and a new cargo ship headed for the International Space Station. AM on September 11, 2009, Japan Standard Time. The launch marks the start of a new space era in Japan. Roll and pitch program is in. After liftoff, the launch vehicle operation control was shifted from the blockhouse to the range control center. After the roll axis control, the H2 shifted to the pitch axis control. It's flying over the Pacific Ocean to the southeast with its initial flight angle of 108.5 degrees. All systems reported to be in good shape so far in the first minutes of the flight of the H-2B rocket. And Uchinora stations are tracking the launch vehicle very well. Twenty seconds until uh, solid rocket booster burnout. SLBA burnout. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. SLBA, Dait pair, Bundi. SLBA, Daini pair, Bundi. SLBA, first and second pairs were jettisoned. The Ogasawara station has started trucking. The uh, H-2B rocket uh, flying very smoothly, no issues reported. The solid rocket boosters separated on schedule. The next major milestone coming up at the 3 minute 40 second mark into the flight, that would be the fairing separation. Three minutes into the flight. Uchiagego,三分が経過しました。第一段エンジンの燃焼は正常。制御系、飛行経路も正常です。ロケットは高度約100、5キロメートル、秒速約2.3キロメートルで飛行しています。it's three minutes after liftoff. The first stage engine combustion, attitude control, and flight trajectory are all normal. Current altitude is approximately 105 kilometers. Velocity is 2.3 kilometers per second. Standing by for payload fairing separation at an altitude of 75 miles. Fairing, Bundi. Payload fairing jettison. Rocket is continuing to fly smoothly. Fairing has been fairing at the time of the fairing. The speed is about 120 km/h. At the point of the separation of fairing, the speed is about 120 km/h. The speed is about 120 km/h. After three minutes after liftoff, it is already reaching the space station, and soon we will be receiving the image of the SRBA and fairing separation image. So please access to our JAXA Club on our homepage. Uh, from the well, that was uh, again. This is a uh, feed coming in uh, from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Launch occurred on time at uh, 12:01 and 46 seconds p.m. Central Time. 
Everything uh, proceeding very smoothly with the maiden flight of the new H-2B rocket, sending the HTV cargo craft to the International Space Station. We are four minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. The next milestone will be the main engine cutoff of the first stage. The two liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen uh, propellant engines uh, will shut down at the five minute, 47 second mark into the flight. Mm -hmm. to accumulate Japan's own technologies and know-how on human space craft system for future human space exploration. Okay. So this um, automatic rendezvous technology, mm -hmm. um, how does that work? Yeah. The HTV has a GPS receiver to calculate its own position in the space. Okay. And also has a laser radar to measure the distance between HTB and ISS. The HTB approach to the ISS automatically using this data. Okay, so the GPS is just the same as a, as a car GPS? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. And uh, the discussion uh, by the JAXA commentators uh, through an interpreter coming from the uh, SCUBA uh, Space Flight Center, uh, that is uh, the controlling center for uh, international space station operations for the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. Again, uh, the flight is proceeding very nominally, uh, standing by for main engine cutoff. And uh, the first stage has now shut down and separated. The Japanese section. Of the second stage has ignited right on schedule at the 5 minute 54 second mark into the flight. This now will be about an 8 minute 20 second phase of the uh, okay. phase of the initial portion of the mission to place uh, the HTV into its preliminary orbit after which its onboard computers then uh, will begin a lengthy seven-day rendezvous to the International Space Station. This uh, on-time launch today places uh, arrival of the HTV at the station on September 17th, one week from today, with grapple and scheduled at 2.50, 2.50 p.m. Central Time. And could you please uh, tell us the schedule mm -hmm. for the HTV uh, in-orbit operation? Yes. Uh, after the separation of the HTV from the H2B rocket, mm -hmm. HTV control center starts operation with okay. HTV. And uh, HTV will conduct on-orbit demonstration related to uh, landable operations in a few days. After that, HTV uh, conduct final approach to the ISS. Okay, so this demonstration flight, mm -hmm. uh, what is it demonstrating? So, uh, uh, subsystem functions and uh, uh, the control and navigation systems. Okay. And also uh, including the uh, contingency uh, maneuver uh, in the case of the uh, 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 to need to the demonstration. In case there's a, a glitch with the with the navigation. Yes. All right. And then after that, mm -hmm. um, when is it scheduled to die? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, in the afternoon of the September 80th, in the uh, central data, uh, data time, yes. uh, HTB approach to the uh, 10 meter below the ISS okay. and stop there. So it, it flies by itself yes. to 10 meters below the, the ISS, ISS and stops. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then that's when the arm... We are now eight and a half minutes uh, into the launch. Again, you're hearing a commentary from uh, a team of uh, commentators with English interpretation from the... Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, Scuba Flight Control Center in the Mission Control Room uh, that has taken over control of uh, the operation as they monitor the continuing progress of uh, the H-2B. Uh, the first stage separation occurred uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, we'll be standing by now for the next milestone, which will be at the 14 minute, 20 second mark into the flight. That'll be second stage cutoff. Yes. Uh, cargo. Yes. Out of the HTV. Yeah. The HTV will separate 15 minutes.